Hello people, you're welcome back to my channel. My name is Inka. So today I'm going to be showing you how you can make uh, the style. So it's a um, blouse with wrapper. So let's do it together. Let's measure how many years the client gave me first before we even proceed. I don't know my client, they'll just bring fabric. The channel that whatever thing they, that they bring that I must definitely deliver. I'm going to be using two years for the wrapper. So so I have four yachts here, four yachts. So let's start with the back for this. It's, it's a cow, cow neckline, it's having a cow neckline. So I'm going to go ahead and put the back bodies first. So I'm going to be drafting it on my lining so that it can be clear. And also because of the cow effect in front, I want more fullness around the the chest area so i'll have to draft it first on something so that i can slash it okay but you know you can always use your pattern paper so first i'll roll my guidelines so that i can have a starting point then i'm just going to quickly draft a basic body this is just lining it is not folded just one pieces like one like this so that it can be easy for me to slash and do all my alterations on it so I'm going to measure the length of her arm hole. Her arm hole is 9 inches. Her waistline, her waistline is 17 and a half. It's 17 and a half. Then the hip line. And then the length of the blouse. So I'm going to make the length to be, to be 38 inches. So that she can also wear it as a short gown and then i'm going to add my hemming allowance let's do one inch so everything here let's make everything here to be 40 inches so i'm going to extend the lines she's going to be the shoulder this is the armhole length which is going to be the chest line this is the waistline the hip line and then the length of the gown or if you're making a blouse it should be the length of the blouse so on this guideline, I'm going to input the shoulder divided by 2. A shoulder is 16.5 divided by 2. That will be 8.25. I'll put it and I'll roll it straight down to the chest line. Then I'm going to measure 3 inches. I'll measure 1 inch here so that I can slant the shoulder. Then my seam allowance. Then I'll finish this armhole area by placing my ruler here, just like this. Can you see? So the next thing you do is to put your measurement. So our boss circumference measurement is 42 divided by 4. That will be 10.5. You put the 10.5. You're going to add ease of half inch. And then you put your same allowance. Then I'll come to the waistline. I'm going to put the waist circumference divided by 4. Our waist circumference is, is 33 divided by 4. That will be 8.25. I'll put it. I'll put ease of half inch and then one and a half same allowance. So I'll come to the hip line. I'll put a hip measurement divided by four. Our hip is 48 inches divided by four. That will be 12. Ease of half inch and then my same allowance. Okay. Then I'll just really straight down just a free gown. Okay. So whatever I have on the hip line, I'll just put it at the hem line. Okay. So it's just a straight gown. So this is it. So the next is to put the neckline for the back. So for the neckline, I'm going to be doing four and a half by four for the back. Then I'll connect it together this way. So I'm going to cut it out now and I'll use this to cut out the back. The back will be unfold. For this gown, there will be no zip and there will be no... Okay, before I cut it out, let's just, because since we are going to be using this to cut out the front, let's put the front ham hole. So for the front ham hole, you locate the mid ham hole, 
you come in by half like this you connect it back to the shoulder tip this way and then you finish it up like this again okay so first now we are cutting on the back armhole Can you see? so i'm going to use this to cut out the back the back is going to be on fold when i'm cutting it because there will be no zip at the back you're not going to be putting zip at the back I've cut out the back. So this is the back. I'll keep it aside. So for the front, um, it's going to be a cow. It's going to be a cow neckline. So don't forget to first trace out the, the front armhole from it before you start your slash. Okay. From the shoulder, I'll locate our underbust. Our underbust is seven. Our underboss is 16, so I'll locate the 16. Then from this 16, I'm just going to draw my slash line. Okay. So I'm, I'm slashing it to where our measurement is here, how the side seam, okay? So it's just going to be like this. So I'm just going to slash here. I'll slash here, this way. then i'm going to just reverse it like this I'm, I'm going to place this now on this other fabric slash, slash line start from ensure it's on a straight line from here all the way down then you can spread it go ahead i'll trace out the shape of the ham hole here and then the neck is from here you are connecting it to where it's stopping here okay so you are not you're not cutting the shape of this neckline but rather from this point just connect it this way okay so it's just going to be like this then you cut every other thing exactly the same way you can pin this place down so that it can relax okay this is your side seam so i'm just going to go ahead and cut it out after cutting it out this is the shape that you have. It's very important for you to note here from where I spread it, you can see the distance I have 10 inches, 10 inches. The more you spread it, the more open it will be here. It's just going to open like it can open. If you open it like maybe like 14 inches, it's going to open to like your navel area. So it depends on, on how deep you want the neckline to be okay so if you don't want it to open too much you will not spread it too much but if you want it to open very well you open it too much so for mine now mine i open it i open mine by 10 inches 10 inches all right it's open by 10 inches then i cut it out it's as simple as that okay so you can decide to open it maybe by three by 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 eight by five depends on what you want okay but this particular style it is open by 10 inches then you trace out exactly the same shape everything yeah okay so just let me let you know so the next thing you do is just to make a mark where the shoulder is stopping so you are going to take this to the weaving machine you weave from here all around and back to this other side so should i open it for you guys so if you open it up you have something like this okay this is the shape that you have this is the cow part so it's just going to be like this okay just going to be like this on your body so if you open it more it's going to reach like here which is going to be like this but you know this one is like around that same 10 inches so it depends on how low you want the neckline to be all right I'm going to go ahead now. I'll cut the sleeve. The wrapper is going to be two years, so I think at this stage I will remove the wrapper before anything else. The wrapper is going to be two yards. After removing the wrapper, 
the fabric is no longer enough to cut the sleeve so i'm using this dashes satin for the hand so you can decide to use the same material for the belt but i'm just going to be using this same uh, satin okay so this is my belt i've cut out my belt the width of my belt the width is five and a half inches and then the length is 60 inches the length of of the satin okay all right so we are going to go ahead and we're going to sew now i'm going to work on the body now so i'm going to pipe the the neckline with my bias you can decide to weave this neck area so i'm starting from the shoulder here like this so i'm just going to insert the bias this way So I'm going to finish the neck line at the back also with the bias. I'm also finish it this way. Yes. this is the back now i've finished the neckline so the next thing is just to join front and back together uh the neck at the shoulder so the next is just to join front and back together at the shoulder so match them together right side to right side like this okay then you take to the machine you join the shoulders together like this with half inch and also here with half inch okay so I'll go ahead, I'll join together at the shoulder and then I'll fix the sleeve. After joining the shoulders, you go ahead you attach your sleeve to the campo the next thing i'm going to do now is just to close the side of my dress starting from the sleeve all the way down to the hemline so i'm going to close the side with the same seam allowance i had it i had it one and a half seam allowance so i'll be closing it with one and a half all the way down to the hemline The next thing is just to hem the is just to hem the bottom part of your dress. Yeah, you show them that they can can wear it without the wrapper. You can wear it without the wrapper. Hey, this one is hot though. <laughs> hot. It's beautiful. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I like it. This way. Yeah, oh, oh, this is beautiful. <laughs>